Hello Tubesters, it's Gav and welcome to another one of my videos. As the title will suggest, it's yet another project. Because <laughs> you can never have too many. Uh, the way I see it, all you, or majority of you Tubesters out there, you have lives. <laughs> you have, you know, you go out for dinner, visit friends, hold down jobs. That's very important. All that, all that stuff, you know. Well, Gav sits at his bench, apart from when he takes his pop out and goes for a curry once a month. So, you know, I can do a, a fair bit. Yes, everything, it slows down everything else. It slows down the figure painting. It slows down the USS Lexington build. Uh, all the other builds I've got dotted around the place in various stages of uh, completion or not. So, uh, yeah, anyway, I did do a massive video on this the other day a couple of days ago and we've got we we changed you um providers uh internet providers in these tough times uh, ours was up for renewal they wanted more money uh they convinced my wife that uh, we could get a better deal you know all these you switch things what a load of crud thank you shell uh internet provider you are useless uh, one of these that uh, we are overwhelmed with calls. Yeah, of course you are. We're all complaining. Anyway, I digress. Calm down, Gav. Uh, but anyway, it took me about three or four hours. We, we was going one and a half hours. Then you come back and it would have jumped to two and a half hours and then three hours. So I'm trying a shorter video. Is this a shorter video? Probably not. Anyway, let's get on. Uh, I'd just like to say uh, the, how I got into this. I'm going to have a crack at customizing. Customizing is that a word? It probably is now. Customizing uh, Hot Wheel, Hot Wheel cars, Hot Wheels cars. Maybe some matchbox. I don't know. Uh, anyway, as I said, I've never been a big auto person. Military through and through. Me, uh, you know, painting, uh, making, building. Um, and one day, because I've been starting to do my, my hot rods, which, you know, I will give you an update on that in the next few days, maybe four or five days, actually. But anyway, you'll get an update. Uh, some of these uh, die casts was coming up. And, you know, they have done in the past. You know, it's just never really floated my boat. I, I Hands off to all the, the collectors of these. I've watched some of their videos now, and they they are, for them, it's the hunt, isn't it? It's, it's finding the particular... I don't even know what they're actually really. But they, I mean, they say on their videos. I still have not much, none the wiser when, they, when the video's finished, really. But they seem to really enjoy it. The buzz I will get. It says in my description, and I've had it up there for years. I like the world in miniature, uh, whether it's figures, whether it's it's model kits, or whether it's this diecast. I suddenly saw that there was a whole community out there. Um, stripping these down, literally, paint, wheels, open them up, a bit like this one. Uh, and I just fell in love with it, I just thought, that's brilliant! <laughs> you know, you, you, you're turning what is essentially either what someone's going to collect in a blister and keep in a blister and just look at it, or or whether a youngster or, or an oldster whizzing down a racetrack you know, that, none of that's my, my bag, you know, with all power to those people that do it or collect it or whatever. But to turn this, as they call it, a 1970s, is that a Mark I Escort? I'm not too sure, is it a Mark II? I don't know. But 1970s, uh, 1600 engine, and I saw a lot of these going around in the day, uh, into something that it, it isn't at the moment. So... Uh, we were in the range, which is a UK store, and the wife uh, said, oh, there's those Hot Wheels. Why don't you pick yourself some if that's what you want? And uh, I picked five Hot Wheels out. They weren't, you know, again, Hot Wheels aren't expensive at this budget level, are they? You know, we're talking £1, I think £1.49 to £1.80, I think. I don't know what the difference was, was for a couple of the more expensive ones. It turned out, I thought I'd bought a couple of the more expensive ones, but when my wife looked at the till receipt, I hadn't. Which doesn't bother me. Anyway, bought bought a few of them. I'll show you them in a minute. 
uh, but they're going to stop in the blister, in their blisters for now. No, I've not started collecting. Uh, what happened was, like the next day, I just thought, I wonder what's on eBay. You know, maybe, you know, there might be some job lots out there. And it turns out there was. And I put a bid on. Uh, I, I think if you're, if you're, there is guys that will, whether they've had them as collections, but they're all out the, the, the blisters. But you know, you'll get a set of Porsches, but then they'll want more money for those. Where I was just buying. I've just bought one big, well, big job lot. There was 33 cars in, and a smaller one with five cars in uh, because I like the look of three or four of them on the windowsill that was photographed on. Uh, the ones I've bought in the 33 job lot, I've put seven in the charity bag to go for, to go to. Uh, you know, hopefully, some youngsters will enjoy it. Uh, but they're the plastic see-through ones, and, and you know they're no good to me. And there was a couple of Matchbox yesteryear cars, if you're in the UK. You know, those, uh, I think, uh, the, you know, the, all the all the companies had used them for advertising. But uh, again, not really much chop for me. So uh, anyway, let's go down to the bench and take a look. By the way, uh, I've got a Mara over in Arkansas that likes British and European cars. He likes any cars, let's face it, with what he collects. But... Sean, my old Mara, not this one yet. Uh, this this one, uh, oh, this one's been taken apart, as you can see. I'm building a completely. They say go into these things, just change the wheels on them. Well, that's no good to me. I'm I'm not a collector. Just changing wheels on something is not going to be fulfil my desire uh, one little bit. But stripping them all down and completely building it with a roll cage. Now that we're talking. We're talking custom. Yes. So uh, that's just being kept, but it's just for putting things on. But um, I'm waiting for some more styrene to come to me. Uh, but I've got, I'm, I'm well on the way with all the ideas. I've already drilled, drilled some holes out the front of that one for the, uh, is it the oil cooler and that? Uh, uh, the one's still a bit solid because it's actually got that behind it. But anyway, I'm, I'm trying to it. But Sean, this is being built as a tribute to you, Mara, or a dedication. I never know what we're supposed to use them words. But this is for Sean at the Scale Model Car Guy channel. Uh, I've got some decals coming for it as well. Oh, yes. This is going the whole hog. You'll see the uh, you'll see the decals when they come. I've only ordered them this morning, so it'll be a while, especially with our postal stripes. Let's go down to the bench. I'm enthusiastic. Can you tell? Right guys, thanks for joining me at the bench. Uh, some of these, when I do get round to doing them, will be de dedicated to um, some of my car building mirrors out there. Um, uh, and even maybe some of my non-car building mirrors too. Uh, but I, to be honest with you, I, I'm almost thinking of, if I can do a few of these halfway decent, I may well start even do a diecast channel. Uh, because I don't want to... I keep adding stuff to this channel and it waters it down and then I tend to find that the figure painters don't want to see the model stuff, the model stuff don't want to see the figure painting and if you add die casting to the, <laughs> into the mix. <laughs> so I might do a die cast channel, you never know, I have thought about it. Uh, right, hang on a second, I'm looking, everything's just blurred because I haven't got my readers on. Right, this is a dragster, um, obviously the one, one of the new ones I, built, I bought. Uh, I can see lots of... Uh, ideas with that one I'm not going to go into it now the last video I did as I say was nearly an hour long and this one probably will be um, but I just wanted to show you the bits and pieces I've got now this one I've got and I turned out in my in that haul that I bought I've got two more different colors but obviously Hot Wheels just change the colors usually now the reason is yes the great big skull on the front who do we know that likes skulls in this type of vehicle yes Charlie Mac so Charlie I've got loads of ideas for this one if you ever see this uh, if you ever see this video, this one's going to be done for you, Mara, because you can't have a big skull on the front and not think of Charlie Mac. So uh, that's that one. Uh, Gran Torino Sport. Saw this on somebody else's video actually the other day. Uh, this one would have an engine in. Everything I'm buying is bought to convert. It's not bought to stop in a, a blister or anything. Um, all I'd do with this one is I'd, I'd, I might well do the colours again because if you're going to start chopping bonnets out then and, and maybe even boots you know you, you're gonna you're gonna smash the paintwork up so it'll be repainted it'll be stripped down all that nasty chrome in the middle um, 
painted over or stripped and painted over uh, we'll try and make the inside look better put an engine in uh, yeah so that's that's the type all these that's what I'll be doing all of them all so obviously I've got a lot here and I bought obviously that collection and I might buy the odd one if I because I mean some of these I'm buying the collection cost me five quid well these cost me one pound something a piece got this uh, again um, not a huge fan of the tin dark really dark tinted windows uh, but I want to put a wide body kit on this I've been watching the guys do them on theirs uh, this already got a supposedly wide body kit on but I might even chop all that off and start again or or you know buy a car that's <laughs> already got one on and they do it I don't know uh, but for one pound odd you know uh, if it stays in the blister for a while it's that's what happens oh and that was a uh, uh, a Nissan uh, 35 GTRR VR.2 because <laughs> I know, don't I? <laughs> we all know, we all know how, how Gav knows his cars. Uh, and this is the Dodge Viper again, engine. Uh, I don't know what the louvers are like on the real Dodge. Uh, again, I have to look, I did look at photographs of all these different ones, uh, but yeah, we've uh. We've got things we can do on all of these. That's what they were bought for. As I say, uh, 1600 engine in this uh, Mark One Escort 1970. I'm calling it Mark One. I, I really don't know, do I? But uh, again, uh, we'll go. Well, we'll go on to the one that I'm doing. We'll just we'll just show the uh, the body. Uh, the this will come off. A wing mirror would be what it's called, isn't it? Yeah. See, I told you I didn't know much about cars. Take the wing mirror off because I'm going to add two two wing mirrors on um, I just need to see what the car looks like because I have actually bought a full decal set for this from a UK guy um, who does rally cars and stuff like that so I've actually bought a full deca decal uh, kit for this but on this one I'd do it as a privateer you know just um, somebody either on track racing hill climbing um, so this one will have a seat chopped out and be just for one one driver where this one will have the two because it's going to be a rally car both will have the lights on the front but not these ones um, as you can see I've drilled drilled out those th the only reason that's blocked up is because obviously it's got this pin at the back which will come out when in good due course I've got a saw coming to uh, I haven't got a coping saw yet and jeweler saw some of them call them so uh, of course, all the saws I've got, and I've got a fair amount, I haven't got one of them. So uh, that's on its way. But again, we are inundated with strikes at the moment. And I can't really blame people for doing it, but uh, it's just taking a while for things to get to us. Right, this is how they came to me. Obviously, I've sorted through them and taken, um, taken as I say, six, seven, eight out that, that were no good. This one's almost, I'm not sure. I mean, I kept it for now. Uh, if I get enough cars to one side, you know, used cars, because I'm happy with used cars, you know, it's, uh, you know, I'm customising at the end of the day, so uh, I had to look what this was on the bottom, uh, which is a Citron, is it a C4, this one? Yeah, C4 Rally. Uh, when I've looked at the real ones, obviously, I have to get rid of this orange glass. I take it, I could just use acetate, um, you know, well, blister, well, blisters, probably, maybe not, maybe, I don't know, but we'll, we'll work our way around that one. Um, the uh, spoiler on the back probably needs to have to be uh, removed uh, and heightened slightly because the rally cars that I saw there was a bit of daylight underneath that. Uh, there isn't a much to do on this one in the sense of what you can do to it that I could see, uh, but this the skirt at the front uh, could be redone and and the, the base here. It's already the arches weren't particularly big on this one. It was more or less a stock almost looks stock if that makes sense so I've got uh, plans for that one I say I didn't really I saw the odd one in the on the photograph uh, now for my Mara Beetle you know who you are it doesn't have a channel but it's a big big uh, big big Mara of mine uh, this one's for you Mara when I can get round to it I shall make my uh, decision what I'm going to do with her but uh, definitely uh, that'll be a custom job for you um, and one of the other Charlie Matt ones, I'd probably do this one first because it's it's fairly beat up, a bit like Charlie really. Uh, another one in a lot better condition. Hey, we should do one for Jeff, shouldn't we? Jeff and Charlie, I'll probably do that. 
Now, Ghostbusters one here, uh, there's no roof rack or anything. I, I, I don't even think I've ever seen the Ghostbusters film, to be straight with you. Uh, I knew it was called a long roof. I've seen them call them long roofs on, uh, on, on different car shows, and it's a Cadillac. I couldn't remember that bit, <laughs> but I seem to remember them calling them long roof. Uh, I've seen he's done in some lovely colours. It's not all going to be rally cars and stuff like that, but uh, the rally cars and that appealed to me because I can do roll cages and stuff in them. But definitely we'll sort this one out and make her look nice. Uh, now, a lot of these, I don't know if you, any of you that do die cast, how come some have got names on them, uh, as in telling you what they are? And so, are, are these some of these just make believe ones? I, I don't know. Um, but again, something can be made of that at some stage. I have to look at it again because I couldn't even pick up the, there we go Lamborghini I knew it was a Lamborghini <laughs> did I? Well, I did because I saw it the other day but I just... <laughs> oh well but yeah all this stuff can be removed and, and do it better you know um, you can do uh, probably beyond me at the moment but they do them where the doors actually come up um, you'll be surprised if you go and look at the die cast uh, put die cast customs in uh, uh, one, you'll be you just it's it's brilliant what they do, uh, yeah. Um, new beetle. Uh, I don't really like them calling them beetles because I don't really think that looks much like a beetle anymore. It's like the mini, although I do like that new mini. But uh, is it really a mini? But anyway, uh, new beetle there. GT forty. I would never clue. Uh, can we do something with that? So, I mean, I'd do it just like anything, like my military projects, whatever. I would be delving deep in and, and seeing what the real cars look like and stuff. Now, this was another one for Sean, the Scale Model Car Guy channel. He used to build these himself, so that one will be for you as well, Sean, when I get round to it. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be doing yet, but we'll sort it. It'll be definitely big engines and stuff. <laughs> Right, this was the second box. Uh, I decided to keep this one. Now, is this? I don't know about the states and Canada and that, but oh, in the UK, this is this. This would be a Bedford, wouldn't it? Comma or a Bedford? I don't know. I just just thought, you know what? That might come up something at uh, one day. Again, one day could be if I'm spared years away. You never know, but. I just fancy keeping that one for some reason. Oh, this is one that I... It's got no name on the bottom. Anybody know what that is? Is it, again, is it just some make-believe? Because I thought, you know, that's another one that uh, could look fairly nice with a, a custom job. So, if you do know what that is... Uh, again, no, no... So, what, so, why do they not put the names on some of them? Or am I just missing something with all that? It's not a very catchy name. Now, this is sh this shows just what a bad influence the car guys are on me. This I saw this in the in in part in sitting there in the photograph, and I went, "Ooh, a Chevy El Camino," and then I thought, "What has happened to you, Gav? A Chevy El Camino? You knew it." You knew, and when I got it, I checked it over and didn't believe it. It's a Chevy El Camino. Yeah, I know all you guys in the States would know that. But Gav is in his 50s and would never have known that for all them years until about about six months a year ago. <laughs> I like the Chevy El Caminos. I really do. Uh, I thought maybe lowering this one, uh, make it into a, a, a low, low rider, will open the doors. Um, not sure about the glass again, but... Uh, yeah, we'll do stuff with that. Maybe put a little scooter in the back. Make her a bit flashy. I mean, she's flashing out with all the flames, but uh, uh, again, just needs to get this paint stripper and rubber down and that. So she's definitely up for uh, customization. Now I've got two Porsches. And I thought, oh yes. I can... Uh, 
I can see some type of uh, hill climbers or, or just general you know track cars what do you think who doesn't love a what I call a I just call them round Porsches <laughs> you know I've always loved that shape of Porsche um, so yeah I thought you know hill climbs track days uh, privateer type of things or even make well I don't know if I could do a full works car but yeah two Porsches definitely gonna get customized uh, now this now this is Gav all over I thought mm, looks like some type of Toyota type thing no matter about the badger that Gav wouldn't have even noticed yes it's another Lamborghini a Garaldo I don't know if I've said that right was it Geraldo? I don't know but uh, again the blacked out windows aren't, aren't much chop but uh, yeah you know um, I don't mind I, I like the supercars um, you know uh, these don't do it for me as much as I, there ain't a huge amount I can do with that I wouldn't think but you never know uh, we've got a Bentley I only know it's a Bentley okay not exactly Bentley I don't know what you're doing but that isn't exactly awe inspiring <laughs> so yeah I kept it though because I didn't know um, you know well, we had to have a bog seat, the standard of my shows, or channel, we have to have a drivable bog seat. I kept it because it's a bit of fun and, you know, one day you might be able to do something with it, you never know. Now this one, my mate Cal, is into. he was saying he's going into that Gaslands, which is like, a, is it a race game or a war game? I don't know, but they use these type of cars and they convert them. So... I thought that's got a nice big engine in already. Uh, I looked online and it doesn't say that it's a real car. Um, so again, no, it looks like something we can play around with at some point. And then we've got this guy here who doesn't have a name on again. So, I don't know if this is one of those type of raid cars or whatever. But yeah, if anybody can, so that's got to be a real car, hasn't it? I take it. It's not a, it's not a, uh, a, you know, something somebody's made up in the in the factory, as in in a name or something. So why, you know, don't forget you're selling these things to auto challenged people like me. <laughs> Do not expect us to remember what your car is. <laughs> so yeah, anybody know what that one is? Because that one looks more like a rally car, doesn't it? Sort of. <laughs> uh, yeah, let me know if you if if you do know, then please uh, then you know just put it in the comments if you don't mind. Right. Right. Signing off. Uh, yeah, Cal's got into diecast in a big way. <laughs> That's probably the amount of cars I had my whole childhood. I never really bothered with them. Tanks, aeroplanes, ships, yes. Cars, not so much. Uh, but I really do like the the way that, as I say, when I watch these guys and they build the roll cages, um, you know, they change out the... Some people build their own seats, some people... And I've, got the, I've already checked out all the 3D printing. Uh, again, my Mara Beetle had sent me some for the for the one in 24 scale stuff well the, one of the guys actually does a load of this stuff and he does engines i'd like to make my own to be honest with you that's what a lot of this styrene rods coming for um you know i just i just i think that's all part of it isn't it for me i mean i'm not saying i won't be printing off engines and putting them in here uh but uh but yeah it, it's um it's an enjoyable yeah an enjoyable <laughs> another one uh that i want to have a go at and as i say that whole couple of ex takeaway cartons of cars, 33 of them originally, uh, they cost me a fiver and I think, it was, I think eight quid, seven quid in the end with the, with the delivery. I can't remember exactly how much the post was, but it was obviously on the low end post. They were wrapped really well, all in cling film. Well, the whole thing was just bungled together. Uh, I wasn't bothered. Again, if you're customising, why are you bothered? In my opinion, again, I'm only just getting into it, but I'm not fussed on chips out of the paintwork i mean this porsche has got chips all over it yeah, but not dings particularly but by the time i've 
stripped the paint and rubbed it down and all doing the stuff that you would do with a model really there's a couple of dings on the outside here but we can smooth that on the wheel arch but we can smooth those off um, yeah you know I don't, you don't have to buy new ones out of the blisters unless there's a particular particular car that you really want and you can't get anywhere else and again for one pound forty odd I mean I just think it's a it's a cheap hobby and I know people that have been doing it a long time go it isn't it is in my opinion if you've got the stuff not the cars the car the cars are cheap as chips you know let's face it that there's millions of mums and dads just selling on bucket loads of old cars you know Porsche yeah. um we look forward to doing that one as a as a some type of racer uh yeah it's it's a it's cheap because i mean look i've got some i don't have a lot of styrene stuff it's usual in it you you want to get into something you don't have it you know but that's roll cage um and I've got some other stuff coming for roll cages and to make the engines with. Um, there's uh, a channel called, I'll, if I remember, I'll put him in the description. I've just bought his decals. Sideways King 75. He's up in Stoke, which is about an hour away from me. Uh, he, um, he does some really good stuff and he was showing how he does some interiors and you know get some ideas and there's a load of the Indonesian guys uh, um, oh my life Jakarta diecast project and stuff like that. you know there's loads there's loads of people doing it I can't remember all the all the, the names of stuff for now uh, I just remember sideways King 75 because I've bought deck he does decals and he does little garage accessories and stuff um, but yeah, I've still got to get some tyres. I've just got to um, sort some money out. Um, but you're looking at a set of t rubber tyres uh, and rims. Uh, you're probably looking anywhere from three pound fifty to to seven or eight quid, depending on you know what you want really. Uh, I do believe you do really need to change the, the wheels and tyres over. I did halfway think of. Of um, sanding them a bit and lining them, and then painting them as we would do. Uh, we'll see if uh, we'll see. We'll see how my finances are because that'll be that's probably the most expensive is the wheels for me. Um, you know, there is the set of wheels has cost as much as this this whole collection of cars. So, but I still think most of us out there. I mean, a lot of the guys use spray cans like a lot of the guys do on the one in 24 car, cars so the way I see it though I've got a I've got a airbrush um, yeah paint you know as I say I've really only got access if I want to use paint to go me airbrush I'm really looking at like zero paints probably in the UK because uh, there's just nothing else I mean yeah I know you've got Tamiya and that but um, uh, but for if you want a car car uh, particular car paint or whatever um, but yeah, you know, I've got the airbrush, airbrush booth. I've got all the tools. When I, I've I looked at a couple of guys saying how to set up customizing, you know, what you need, and there wasn't that. It was great, apart from obviously styrene. I was short of styrene rods and stuff like that. But apart from that, and obviously I don't have a collection of wheels, which is a shame. I can get rims. I can download rims, no problem, and three D print them. But it's the rubber tires I I, I haven't got. And if I try and get, I mean, like there's places like Malaysia, like the guys in Malaysia and that, but it's, I don't know, it's it gets expensive. You're, you're talking eight, nine quid, uh, 12 quid for, it's like the States. I was looking at decals because I'd like to do some NASCARs. Uh, NASCARs are hard to get over here. Um, and no decals, obviously, for those, unless you're going to do them yourself. And I haven't got the software to do them. Uh, it... it to get them over from the states, you look. You're looking at it's not the, the cost of the decals again. You know, I think some of them were like four equivalent about four quid. Uh, it's just the they want twelve quid to ship them. Oh, twelve quid to ship decals uh, over here. No, I'm not that much of a mug. Um, anyway, hopefully you'll see this coming along. Uh, well, not the Porsche yet, but the, the see the uh, the RS Escort. Uh, hopefully we'll get that. That's going to be done for my Marishore. Um and then we'll crack on with one of the, <laughs> one of the others. I say I've got another five coming. Uh, 
One, one might be a Plymouth Dart. How about that? Gav picked a Plymouth Dart out of somebody's winds, windowsill that he'd take the photograph of. He did, Arch. <laughs> I mean, actually not Plymouth, that great big spoiler on the back, but I wouldn't have known that a few months back. I would not have known that, or a year. Yeah. Chevy El Camino. <laughs> oh, yes. Right, look after yourselves. I just wanted to launch yet another project at you. As I say, if I do a couple, I'll see if I, if I think they're all right. Um, obviously, they're not going to be all right to begin with. God knows what this escort's going to turn out like. But uh, I'm going to actually seriously think of starting a, a, a separate a separate uh, site. I'd still pop a few up on here, but um, a, a separate site for uh, a channel for, for me diecast, I think, if I get into it. Look after yourselves. Uh, as my Mara Sean would say, you know, keep hunting around because you never know what you might find. As I say, I was I was uh, shocked, you know, come back, come back from the range with me six quids worth or whatever I've got of seven quids worth, I don't know, of of blistered ones when, you know, five pound later and uh, and thirty odd cars and you know local charity shops managed to bag itself a few and uh, and I've got uh, some others to begin with, getting on with I should say. Right, let's see how long this one takes to load. Take care of yourselves. Speak soon.